Hi guys, Kevin here and welcome. So today I'll be reviewing the VC Box V3 Pro. And VC Box has been one of my favorite boxes for these fully loaded devices. And I've really enjoyed the V2 Pro and also the V1 Pro. And they're still going. And first let's see what you get inside the box. Okay, so let's see what you get inside the box. Get the box. The remote, voice function. Standard AC adapter, looks like a 2 amp, HDMI plug, and some instructions. So I think one of the nicer remotes out there, you have the mouse right there, so you can toggle that on and off to get your mouse function. Uh, you got your home button, your voice control, YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video, Disney Plus, are all hotkeys, and then you also have some that you can program. Otherwise, nice feel to the remote. Box is pretty nondescript, you get the clock on the front, nothing on the sides, a little bit of a transparent, I'm not sure if you can pick that up on the camera. A little bit of a transparent sides and bottom. Top, a wave texture, and the back has all your extras. So Ethernet port, USB 2 and 3, HDMI, micro SD beneath it, AV port, and your power. Okay, so after the startup screen, you're just going to go here. This is your initial setup, so you're just going to pick your language. My capture card is 1080, so I'm just going to choose that. You're going to size up your screen. I'm just going to make it a little bit larger to fit my screen. There we go. Pick your time zone. I'm going to choose Wi-Fi. If you have Ethernet, it's usually the most stable connection, but I'm quite far away from my router, so I'm just going to choose Wi-Fi. Then you're going to set up your Wi-Fi so you can put in your password. Okay, and after you're connected, you can just press the home button, middle of the remote. Remote does feel great. It's a little bit larger than the other one. Uh, feels nice in the head, feels nice and solid. Just the weird thing about the back cover is it doesn't slide down. You have to kind of stick your fingernail in there and it comes off from the side. Then you have to kind of snap on the sides once you have it on. You'll hear a definite click, but a little strange. I'm not sure why they can't just copy the... There, you can hear the click. I don't know why they don't copy the, like every other remote, just slides on the back. But once it's on, it's on. You're not going to go through your batteries very often, but just a thing to note. And here's your screen. So this is the main screen. I haven't sold anything. This is just what comes on the box. This is not Netflix certified, but you can play Net Netflix and SD, as well as Prime Video. You have YouTube, Disney Plus as well, uh, Miracast, and then these ones you can also install. So these aren't in the box, but you can click on them. These are the four that you're going to want to use. These are what you're essentially paying the box for. You don't have any monthly fees, but when you buy the box, these are the four that you're going to use. So you have a backup. You have an Ultra, so it'll give you a 4K in some of them. This is your VOD, and your Live. So your live has about 1,300 plus channels from North America. Again, it's catered to more North American channels, unfortunately, for you guys in the UK, but um, does have Canadian, US, major sporting events, and also Saturday night events. So if you are looking for something on Saturday night to watch, you can definitely tune in here and get those, and you don't have to pay anything. So live, VOD, ultra, and backup. So I'll start with the backup. So all you do is click on it. It'll install. And once this part's done, then you'll actually have the app and you can use it. Okay, so I won't show this, but it's jumping right into it. Runs. Same thing with Ultra. So installing, it's definitely working. Okay, and finally the Live. Okay, so essentially the Live and the backup are more or less the same, but the backup one will have different servers. So if you find one channel is down on one, you can try the other one, vice versa. And then the idea with the VOD is this is the main VOD and then the Ultra will have a lot of different content where you'll sometimes be upgraded to 4K content. Kind of different. So two essentially of the same apps but they're used a little bit differently, a little bit different content. And the rest you can install things just like a regular box. You can go on the Google Play Store, you can go on this market, you can get anything you want just like a regular Android box. You have some settings here. Updates, hotkeys, system info, so all your basic stuff. Here's the RAM cleanup. Very simple interface, uh, nothing too flashy. The box itself is nothing flashy, but it's the content, the stable content, that it's essentially what you're going to get this box for. And this is the reason that I would choose this one over the other ones, just because it's the most stable one that I've tried. So excellent box. And then looking at the specs, so if you go on their website, which I'll link below, there's also a channel list, so you can see exactly what channels you have. So you do have the Amlogic S905Y4, decent chipset from Amlogic. It does have the Mali G31 MP2, which is quite a good GPU, so it's one of the better ones. Then you have 4 gigs of DDR3 RAM, 
64 gigs of storage. So the USB ports are expandable to two terabytes. So you can plug in an external drive, anything like that, thumb drive. It does have Bluetooth 5, and this is running Android 11. And you can also use the voice search. Open Heat Live. So very snappy as it is using Google Assistant. And here's a bit more information. Get over 1,300 channels, get over 13,000 movies and TV shows, no monthly payment, five minute installation, I'd say not even. Stable service, always up 99% of the time from 2015 until today. Solid 25 plus servers, minimizing buffering and freezing. Stable internet required. Powerful TV box, five times better than Fire Stick. So not five times more powerful, five times better. So subjective. Excellent customer service and 100% satisfaction guarantee. So would I choose this box? Yes, I would. I really enjoy it. And this is the most stable one that I've used, like I said, for any events. And sometimes when other events will go down in other boxes, this one's been consistent. So that is the VC Box V3 Pro, highly recommended. Again, if you want to choose, you know, a Fire Stick, Fire Stick Max, get an IPTV service, you could definitely do that. Or just go with, um, you know, one of the Disney Plus, etc. That's always an option. Or just go with Netflix. Depends what you're looking for. But if you want something with no fuss, easy setup, gives you something that you can cut the cable with, this is definitely the option. And I think of all of them, most stable. So, hands down. Uh, links below. Also have the channel list, the product links. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.